Hey guys, so I thought I would share a couple recipes, what I ate for breakfast and then what I'm actually going to make for lunch. So for breakfast, I know you've probably seen a thousand, but I had avocado toast. And then for lunch, I'm going to make blackened shrimp tacos. So let's start with the toast. Um, I used this bread today. I just like trying new gluten-free breads. So that one I found some microgreens, some I call them cherry tomatoes, but I guess they're grape tomatoes, sugar bomb grape tomatoes, of course an avocado, and then some balsamic vinaigrette. So let's go ahead. And I already toasted my bread. These slices are pretty tiny. So if you, if you decide to try that bread, um, just know that. So let's go ahead, cut our avocado. And then mash it with a fork. Oh yeah, this avocado is not very soft, which I don't really mind. It'll be kind of like a chunky, chunky toast, which I think is still good. Mason's down here. He's like hoping that I drop food. chunky avocado toast but this will be really good so let's take our bread and I'm gonna go ahead and oh before we add that on drizzle some balsamic vinegar on it sorry Macy He's still over here waiting for food. <laughs> now we can add the avocados. Mmm, it's nice and chunky. And then after the avocados, add on the microgreens. Smash it on there. I actually quarter cut the grape tomatoes Make it a little easier to eat. Just put it on top. Add a little bit more vinaigrette. It's not vinaigrette. I always accidentally call it vinaigrette, but it's balsamic vinegar. I don't know what my problem is. Voila, and the toast is done. And now we'll make our blackened shrimp. So I'm gonna warm up the skillet and then cook it with you guys. So I've already pre-seasoned my shrimp and the seasoning I used was chili powder, garlic powder, cumin, cumin, I don't know, paprika, oregano, um, salt, pepper, and then some brown sugar. And the tortillas I am using are, I found this at Whole Foods, it's cactus corn tortillas. Um, they're only 30 calories per, per tortilla and they looked really good. So I got that. And then this um, dairy-free sour cream. And then I'm going to use microgreens again. And then add in some um, red onion to top it off. So, I have my skillet already warmed up, so I'm going to add a single layer of shrimp. I am really not a good cook, so all my recipes have to be pretty simple and basic or I just mess them up. So let's add the shrimp. Let me get these out of the way. And I cook them about two minutes on each side. That's what they look like. I'm gonna try one. Mm. 
Good. Okay. So, I have the tortillas ready. I heated them up on the skillet before I put the shrimp on. Oh, I should add some avocado. Cut up another avocado. This time, I'm just going to mix it. All right, so let's add some shrimp. you guys can see it. What would go next? I would say the microgreens. Microgreens. Some avocado. I probably should have just sliced the avocado, but use this spoon. I love red onion, so put a lot of it on there. Get some Sour cream. Add a dollop of that on top. Dollop of that on top. And then how could I forget hot sauce? Mm -hmm. Cholula. Love hot sauce. And then it's done. Now to try it. It's good. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.